pleasure. Follow me. What's that? Oh, run, run this way. Oh, it's tilted. Help, help. Go to the island. It's right behind us. Let's hide in here. This is cute. That's adorable. I love this. Yeah, it, this character has so much personality. This feels like it would be an official Lego creator set. I, I, I think this, this has potential. This really does. Yes, I did not press on mute. I'll try it again. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another mock hour. How's everyone doing tonight? With me tonight is no one so far. We'll see some other people join the show, but if not, we'll still have a fun time. You got no sound from me? Oh, that's a late comment. Yeah, I know. I had mute. I had the mute on when I first started. I mute when the intro plays, otherwise it comes through absolutely terrible quality. Who else is in the chat now? Hello, TV Studios, Art of Four, uh, Absolute Lego Builds, Epic Lego Creations, Luigi, awesome. Hello to Heidi, to Caboose. Alan Rojo has been here for hours. Wow. Awesome. Thanks, everyone, for coming tonight. So hopefully we'll get some more hosts in to help spice up the show a bit. But without further ado, let's jump right into the mocks. Let me just get the tab up. Oh, hello, Nar. So the theme this week, if you can't see my background, is villains. So we'll see both uh, builds, I, I guess any type of builds, whether the villains or their vehicles or brick builds of the, the villains themselves. Anything related to them is valid. And I'm sure there'll be tons of references to the infamous Red Bandit. As we just saw Professor Goat um, expressing how fond he is of in the intro there. So let me just share my screen and head over to see what we got this week. Uh, head over to the Feature My Mock channel. If anyone's here for the first time, how the show works is we go through all the builds pretty much in order. Uh, we judge a winner at the end. Usually the, the streaming, the streamers, whoever's in the stream, we help me vote on the winner. If not, if we're tie or if it's not enough people, I'll ask the chat to help. Uh, if you do want a creation share, let us know. We'll give you a link to where you can post it in the Discord. After the builds, we vote on a winner. We'll go to some memes, some notoriously bad memes. We're known for incredible mocks and terrible memes. And yeah, that's just about it. Balloonie says Luigi. TB says, fam, I have so many trains up now. Awesome. Oh, he was the best character, so much depth. Which character is? Let me see you guys made this week. So the first one of the night, I wish DKS could join us tonight, but he's not able to. But if you guys are familiar with his work right now, he's an absolute expert plane builder. So you can see right here, he actually makes these blueprints ahead of time before he builds his plane. If not mistaken, this plane right here he's working on is going to be about six feet long when it's done. It's incredible. Let's even take a closer look at his early progress on it. So I got a, yeah, that's a good thing um, to mention there. So you can see a minifigure for scale inside. This is going to be almost like big enough to fit as many minifigures as people fit in a normal plane. Almost this is going to be massive. His biggest plane yet. You can see a pass plane, which is already pretty big, right next to it as well for scale measuring tape. So yeah, can't wait to see how this comes out. Hopefully, we get to some villains ones before too long. Where's Goat? Goat doesn't often join our mock hour anymore. He will see him for sorting streams and such. We don't see him many mock hours. But I'm hoping Just Sack Pat will be joining us. He's usually, um, he's usually here. And I was expecting him tonight, so maybe he's running a little bit late. He did send me a very excited voice message about getting Disney+. Plus. I hope that doesn't mean he just blew us off to watch Clone Wars or something or Bambi. But we'll find out, I guess. Balloonie had so much story left untold. What are you guys talking about Balloonie? Balloonie. Am I missing something? Okay, so Red Dragon plays. Uh, he made his well, his, his name as a mock recently. Well, I guess it's a month or two back now. But I guess he made an update to it. He made the wings better. And I'm guessing you improved it because you're entering in our mock wars, which is like a little battle game we made. People can make a pretty much anything you want to build to beat someone else's creation. You make a dragon, maybe you'll make a tank to beat that, maybe someone else will make a wizard to beat that, and just endless fun. But I know Red Dragon has entered this dragon there a few times. I bet he updated it for Mock Wars, and we're getting to see the updated product here as well. Let's see what we can say about it. So we took a look before. We admired the overall design of the head. I like the use of different type of spikes. 
You get this piece here, that one there, and this one, all different types of spikes. Very creative. Good use of the smooth um, tile pieces here. Give it a little, um, the underbelly, whatever you call it, the underbelly of a dragon, not the less scaly part. And the wings are where he improved this time. I like the overall shaping. Pretty cool. Nice touch of the spikes at the end. The toes stand out a lot in this as well, too. Very nice. Use a lot of different tiny white pieces. Let's see. Bear side. I don't know what balloon he is. Want someone to fill me in? Harkronium, thanks for joining us. It's awesome. Thanks for sharing Red Dragon. Let's keep scrolling down. Let's see who's going to post the first, the first villain related build tonight. Oh, next we have by. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Anonymoy Abiwatal. A short clip of a tank you made. Take a quick look at it. But watch about 60 seconds normally. Oh. I can't, I can't tell if the music is copyright safe, so I got to do that. So we can see the interior there. Does it actually have a motor function? I think it might. We'll find out. Yep, it's got a motor function. It can turn the head. Can it roll too, or just the um the turret can turn? It'd be very cool if it can actually roll around. Oh, someone just joined me. It is who is it? Just Nico. Let's get a rendering. I believe you're someone from our little um Lego YouTuber chat, but not one of our usual hosts. It's a bloom from Disney show. Finney's and Ferb that was murdered. Oh, it's sad. Tonks is caboose, caboose. But yeah, anyway, back to the video here. Looks like it actually can move. So it's got two power functions, both the uh, forward and backwards and the actual turret. Oh, it lost the wheel there. Pretty cool. Thanks for sharing. If you guys want to see more of his tank stuff, you got his channel link right here. Uh, Mr. Nico here. Seems like his stream is having trouble loading. So we'll see if he manages to join us. Oh, there you are. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Is my headphones. Oh, no problem. You were rendering and loading for a while. Yeah, I don't have good lighting. I apologize. Let me see if I can at least light up the area or something. Maybe sit in my chair. I have to oh, look okay. at least somewhat professional. I'm not very professional, clearly. Just... No problem. Yeah. We got DKS comes in wearing like a ski mask normally, so you're already better off than he is. Balloony was Dubu. Hello, Smart people. Sorry, balloon. Okay. Everyone's sad about some balloon from Phineas Ferb or something Ferb and something in the chat. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we just only got started. We haven't had any of the um, actual villain themed ones yet, unless Red Dragon considers himself a villain, which I don't think he does. But yeah, I'm taking mm. a closer look at this tank. We just saw it in motion. It can move both forward and backwards and spin the turret with motor functions. That's kind of cool. Any thoughts on the tank build? Um, it's very unique, um, which is, I've never done this before, so obviously I'm not the biggest fan of mocks, but I think it's really cool. It's, I don't know specifically what type of tank it is, but it's definitely an interesting build. Yeah. I will say the tower here is a lot rounder than most of the ever tanks you see. We do see a ton of tanks featured. It's interesting to me, he's a lot of big, um, plate pieces, but he still managed to get some pretty cool angles on it. Because we see a lot of times he use these big pieces, they end up like a boxy product, and that's not the case here. Pretty cool. Oh, let me get to a better angle there. Got a few more angles here from the front again. Pretty cool. Thanks for sharing. Okay, hold on. I'm going to see if I can set something up here. You get something to show us, or just your headphones? Um, I mean... It's more like I'm trying to, I have a stand for my camera, so I'm going to set this down real quick and see if I can find it. That might we'll make, make it, the camera a little more stable on my end. We'll make you more comfortable by putting on full screen, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> no, not very. Let's go on down a little further while we wait for Nico to set up. We have a new castle mock by Exo. Hmm, did I see like a very early version of this, Exo? I'm pretty sure you showed me like a work in progress of it. I like it a lot, though. We got a king and queen there. It's not me, because I've got a gray beard. Interesting, the guards, it almost like they have, like, baseball cap like helmets. It's a little bit blurry, the render, to zoom in. Pretty interesting. And it's like a gecko head here, kind of effect. I, I like it overall, though. I love the use of the, the launch missile right here. It's much better than, like, a stud tree. This missile actually is cool, the rubber tip. It can do some damage, and, like, actually, it's been in previous Legos, so it's actually smashed through the castle. Uh-oh. 
Am I gone? Ooh, that one's really cool. <laughs> Can I be like, heard? Uh, my camera shut off, I know. I'm not going to lie, but it reminds me of, you know, um, I can't say I've been through much of the old Lego Harry Potter sets, but has the same tops to it. Shoot, I think my camera already died. So oh, I'm no. Stuck on. That's okay. I will entertain the viewers. I will show them a magic trick. I'll have to be um this mode for now. All right, guys, I'm going to pull off my finger. I know. Exo posted again. I knew it looked familiar. Exo, he said new Castle Mock. Okay, awesome. I saw yeah. a little, like, loading signs. I was like, uh-oh, I hope the stream didn't just die. Anyway, though, I was in mine card, almost like an echo, sorry, a gecko head right here. And I love these missile pieces because they, in old castle sets, especially like Knight's Kingdom, you'd see them actually in, in Siege Equip where they actually could have breakable walls that you design to aim at and, like, break away. So it's kind of like a play feature. They have a lot yeah, of Yeah, I think I'm going to leave my specific light off so that way it looks a lot better. Sounds good. Not many shadows. Very nice. Normally, just Zach Pat would be with us, and he was with us today. I was telling the chat earlier, but I, I have a suspicion that he's watching Disney Plus right now because he sent me an excited video message like half an hour ago, all excited about Disney Plus, just talking about it for some reason. So I think he blew us off to watch. I don't know. I'm going to say he's watching Bambi right now. He's watching Bambi? Cool. That's my guess. He, he blew off Mock Hour for Bambi. Ah. Uh. Now, Bambi is a very important, you know. I mean, we already got Lego Winnie the, Boo the Pooh. Why not Lego Bambi? <laughs> this is interesting. How I thought it was medieval at first, but I can see now, yeah, I was right. They have caps and actual guns. So it's almost like an alternative version of Nexo Knights. Or Nexo Knights is like futuristic knights. I like Exo's version better, though. This is kind of cool. I love the mechanical horses. Very cool idea. And you got the helmet from um, Knight's Kingdom. Very nice. Is this on Lego Ideas, XO? You could have a better chance getting this some support than you would on your Exo Force projects. Exo posts Exo Force thing again. Of course he did. He always does that. Caboose, caboose. Mm -hmm. Is posting. What is that? Who knows? Anyway, it's going down further. Well, is this villains first, though? Hmm. Do they look evil? I, I don't think it's a villain theme. It's just a castle in general. Next by the Angle God, we have a little preview of something. Aggression coming soon. Mm. A little preview. Is this what it looks like? Because you're not really hiding it very well. We can kind of see it. But maybe this is like an early version of it still getting updated. Can't wait to see anyway. And now we get to Arden 4, who is our. I think our highest ever win. He's won three times. He's the gold um, Master Builder badge. He's the only one who's won three times. So I can't seeing... make mock, so just seeing any mock makes me impressed. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do if he wins tonight because we don't have even a role for, four, for a fourth-time winner. Let's see what happens. Uh -huh. I'm Balloony, but I'm also Bum Bum. Oh, is that Bum Bum in the chat? Your name is Nar in there? we got to think of a better name for you than Bum Bum. What happens when you get viral and people know you as Bum Bum? <laughs> you can see the rail bike. This is a weird rail powered motorbike I made up. The idea was you'd hire one of these less than safe contraptions as a mean of conveyance. Interesting. A rail bike. Is it special rail school? Or you just like try your luck on the actual railroad tracks? Well, it's definitely unique. Um, it's not my style of like mocks but it is super cool or, or a it's at, a unique concept take a look at some of his piece choices though he's got the viking shield as the wheels he's got like a shoulder pad for the seat he's got a life preserver for on um, this part here he used a lot of like a minifigure accessories for the piece of the bike that's clever and i can't quite yeah. see what this piece up front is but i'm interested to see note the strange part used i did note it you love using unusual parts Great work. I give you points for that. Mm. Epic. After a long hiatus, I come back with train. Oh, Rise Comics, welcome back. We have a, a sudden surge of interest Ooh. in trains, including one terrifying one of Hellcat from a channel. Um, is a Hellcat train. It's like a picture of Tom's tank engine, except of his face on it, and it looks terrifying. <laughs> I gotta see that, but um, it will be speaking of somewhere. trains. 
Well, <laughs> I'm getting. I got my first Lego train. <laughs> oh, nice! Which one is that? Is the Harry Potter one? Yep, Hogwarts Express. Hogwarts Express. Got it for sixty-four dollars. It retails for eighty. So you got it less than retail. Yep. That's a good deal. I usually try to get below retail, so. How do you manage that? I have my inside source. No, I was kidding. I just I just got it on Amazon. Like the deal's still going if anyone else wants to get the Hogwarts Express for that price. It's a really good deal in my opinion. Potentially, yeah. I already have one Lego set I bought for investing, but so I'm I've seen some good deals out there, but I'm holding myself back because I don't want to spend too much at once. I already have the I Viking too. chess set. I got for like a hundred. Yeah. I've been thinking about investing myself. I mean, I'm already planning on investing to get a set or I don't know what you would call investing, but saving up, which I've asked many people whether they would want me to get Diagon Alley or the retired Ninjago City. And of course, everyone told me Ninjago City. Tough so, choice. Rest were you the one who was going to do the, Was it you that was going to do that stream where you buy everything your viewers suggest? Was that yes, that's me. Um, it's called the Fan Hall. That is that's an insane idea. I remember now. Yeah, I, I haven't done anything yet. I probably should. <laughs> an evil Thomas Tank Engine. Well, I don't think Hellcat's an evil one. We do have an evil train coming though. We have a red bandit one coming. I don't know. I mean, Thomas is evil on his own. He may look like he's all innocent and smiling, but he's behind the scenes, he's like he's a devious mastermind. Anyway, though, we have an impressive train by Rise Comics here. Let's see the scene. To get the dimensions right, um, all smooth on the outside. I love how it juts out here, this part here. Probably where like, there's is more that, seats here. Is that train like a specific model, or is it just a unique um, train? Does it say? I'm sure oh, it is. It. It's so precise, but I wouldn't know. It's not an expert in trains. You get the ladder here, the steps up here, a lot of details, a little underwork here. Looks like it can actually roll as well. I oh, wonder, yeah. I can't quite tell, but I wonder if these these um technic pieces actually move with the wheels as it turns. I feel like it could because there's a lot of connections for some reason. Pretty cool. The headlights up front. Great work. And here's the back of it with the tender as well. The tender. What's the tender? I love how this was supposed to be villain themed and now it's just train themed. <laughs> well, it's always mostly just random things. There's always like maybe I want to say like twenty percent are actual entries, but that's plenty. Because you don't want to have too many to consider. Pretty nice. I'm thinking the word he won was tether, but I'm probably wrong, and there's probably a tender word that's for trains. Very nice. It also articulates as well. Articulates. Ooh, so the bottom can turn? That's very neat. Uh huh. I want to cool. see someone make. Um... <laughs> A model of the, I don't know if it's a specific type of train, but I know it's like a speed train. It's like a bullet train, and that it's the bullet train that takes you around Japan. I want to see someone make that. That would be really oh, cool. Oh, yeah, that would be incredible. Hello, Bizarro. Bizarro, I love seeing your stop motion the other day, the one that took place in your um, Skyrim mark. Very cool. Can't wait to see what you make next. I think Ooh, you said you can do a whole series there. I wish I was there to see that. <laughs> I think he he might have posted an update for it. Picture, it's like a giant um, landscape of it. He said stars. It's not just like a build of one thing in it. It's like a whole map of it. He made. I mean, he made a little scene of it, um, animated. I think he's planning to make a whole series. Thomas the Hell Engine. Thomas the <laughs> actual name. So it's Thomas B Studios. He wasn't the one who made it, but the fictional design. Thomas was Eva Ball. Hello, exactly. Martha. Uh The tender is the. Where's it go? The tender is the place to store coal or something. We're going to see a lot of trains this mock out, huh? I feel like we might. This way it's heading. Camaro says hello there. Kim, why aren't you in here of us? Pretty cool, anyway. Thanks for sharing, Rise. Oh, right as Kim gets here, we get to animated thing by Kim. <laughs> I thought it was a build, and then I figured started walking by. I love that you made it a gift, so I have no choice whether to watch it or not. <laughs> I would have, but it's kind of funny. Everyone else has a video clip, so I, have to, I get to think about it. Like, when I click it, I'm like, I'm not. This is my favorite anime. I love this anime. Uh, is it an actual one? <laughs> no. Oh, <the> one <laughs> I 
I think they are custom characters. Him, her, we never know what Kim is. Let's see. Wow, look at that effect. It honestly does like remind me of like a battle scene in an anime, even though it's Lego. <laughs> I love the, the effects there, yeah. The warping effects around. I think it's infinite. I like how the scene connects. It doesn't really have like an ending, does it? Oh, it does right yeah. there. Very nice. Thanks for sharing. Is one of these a villain, so we'll consider an entry? I guess it's just a minifigure, though, so. Do you have anything to say about it? Nothing in the chat yet. Train hour. Save it in case we actually do a real train hour. Yeah, I'll have an update in the next couple of days, says Bizarro. I'll just finish the tavern. I'll post pits on Discord. Can't wait to see. Nice. I'll be sure to join that. Awesome. Gonky Kong made a cat, the worst villain of all. Is it a cat? It looks cat like to me. Yeah. A cat is very villainous. I like the pose you got on it. Like your sitting pose, a real pose a cat would be in. You can see the whiskers from the uh, little slate piece here. Clever. You got the little eyes there. What are those eyes from? I think it's like from Minecraft or Mixels. That's another theme I wanted to get a hold of. I went up to my Walgreens and I was like, I'm going to see if they have Lego. Because like 50 times I've went there and I couldn't find it. I was just in the wrong aisle. They've got a couple. I kind of want to pick up the Minecraft sets, but... Go Don't have it. them on now, so they're a little overpriced. I feel like just because fact there's a lot of the square blocks, but they are fun to collect and they can combine together. So that yeah, train just today, and I made five. I think I can manage. Awesome. We have to think if we do a train, so we've got to think of an interesting twist on it. Because the best hmm. mock hours are the ones we make something funny with. What about trains that turn into submarines? That would be that would go into like a transformer type thing and i know people are itching for a transformer week as well but i'm hesitant to that because there's only a handful of people who know how to do it well let's see i was only like i don't know but um i was gonna say something i kind of forgot the whisk is there the belly all white oh look at the even the forearm feet there you've got a lot of detail on this i like it great work Looking out the window, that's exactly what the cat would be, too. Have you guys already done a gaming-themed mock hour? We did, actually, last week. You just missed it. Ah. Uh, yeah, I was busy working. What was that? Another one at some point. Something has startled insult to gaming. Is it the, uh, the cat? Train week and monkey week, what I want? <laughs> I oh. told you, probably... Oh, when is Godzilla vs. Kong? Is that this... Is that... No, I think it's like in... Three weeks, maybe, end of this month. So either I'm thinking not this coming mock hour, the one afterwards. That's when I get to do something related to Godzilla vs Kong. We'll do like a monkeys and monsters, something like that. We did a mechs and monsters. So what can we do? Monkey, monkeys, and that. Well, they got something. March thirty first, end of the month. We got to think of a theme that can interpret. It. I could just make it a Kong themed week. <clears throat> you King Kong, Donkey Kong. Anything you want. Hong Kong. Donkey Kong. Not Hong Kong. <laughs> Hong Kong. Donkey Kong and Hong Kong. <laughs> Let's see. Exo, I made an alternate build to set 8105 Dark Panther. Exo, there's a meme about you in your alternate builds we're going to see later in the meme feature. Uh, set 8105 Dark nice. Panther. So that's an Exo Force theme, I assume, because I see the little um, robot things here. I've been debating whether or not to get Exo, Exo Force, but I'm sure they're extremely expensive now. <laughs> I'm not sure if they are or not. I never had a huge fan base, but <clears throat> we do have a couple fans. Well, that, yeah. mm. <laughs> Chainsaws for it's weapons. The closest we'll ever get to an anime. <laughs> I wonder how unless, much I um, pray. Unless Ninjago Just... counts. But... Ninjago is not an anime. <laughs> Well, Chima was a furry anime. No, I don't know why everyone hates on Chima. I personally thought it was a very unique theme. Maybe it, it wasn't, wasn't the best as good theme, as Ninjago, but... like by comparison, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely not. <laughs> but like, I before Chima, I never saw anything like Chima. There wasn't like, I guess. Yeah, it was I don't pretty know. unique. <laughs> Gonky Kong. Trains and transform the toasters. Yes, that's that's what we're gonna do. Train week and monkey week, what I want. You can make five trains in one day. I can make one train in 25 days. 
I'm a little no. I'm a little scared of the idea of Gonky Kong because now I just imagine a gonk droid with Gonky Kong's head. Oh, he or actually something. built Gonky Kong. You haven't seen it? What? He, he built a Gonky Kong. It was. I'll see if I can find so it. So there's literally a gonk droid with Donkey Kong's head. He already did it. Uh, gonk, <laughs> whatever you name is here now. Gonky Kong, send in your actual um, Gonky Kong build. What's your name in the server again? Is it just Nico or something else in the server? That's Neko. That's Neko. I am a YouTuber just starting out. So yeah, so wow. ping just Neko with your um, your um, Gonky Kong. It started okay. with he was uh, trying to. He usually goes by just like Gonk or Mister Gonk, something like that. And he was trying to choose a, a monkey themed name, so I thought a Gonky Kong for him. And then he had to build it. But yeah, he made a really fun one. It actually passed Professor Go to Macros, which is very rare, especially with something like ridiculous as a Gonky Kong. <laughs> I like this also in the building. X, I know we kept getting distracted. It looks like it could almost be like a set in its own in this design, <clears throat> like in the olden mm -hmm. days when sets had alternate builds. This would be like one you see on the back of the box. Pretty cool. Like he's going to copyright claim. <laughs> this is our set now. This is exo hand reveal. <gasps> oh nice. It looks a little bit fragile in the bottom there, but I think it would hold up at least for display. Very cool. And Exo built a combiner. Ooh. Oh, two different sets, eight one one two and eight one one five. Exo, do more of these. Like when you do a set redesign, I think you have less to work with than when you do a combiner. Because this looks pretty cool. That's really cool. Look at the tail on it. I wish I could like do some sort of like energy blast at them. That's so cool. We got. Oh no! When I see that tail, all I think about is the seven deadly sins. So I don't know if you've seen that. <laughs> I have it. Is that, is that a show or? It's like um spear spear chastity full. <laughs> something. That's chat now someone's claiming Gong Kong. <laughs> Kim, are you sure? Yeah. He is real. We've seen him created. <laughs> I don't know. Looks, I look out my window. I see him slowly approaching. I'm the scared. build it was well done, the Gonky Kong build, but it looks kind of like picture if Gonk if Donkey Kong had a horrific accident and he had to get like an iron lung and like none of his limbs are left. That's what it looks like. Hmm. You got oh, I thought these are weapons attached. I can see there's um actual pilots on here. Do they have legs or are they just sitting on there? I think just their torso is connected. Interesting. Very scorpion like. I like the um little jabby arms there. There's a pirate there. Very cool. Now I want to see a Lego Scorpio. <laughs> Get over here. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, Kim's got another animation for us. Oh, I love the cotton ball effect there. Yeah, that's really unique. <laughs> Boom. He has so many gifts to like work with. Back in GTA. <laughs> Very nice. So have any of these been baddies? I don't, I'm just throwing back up. No, I remember. But the first baddie entry I think we have tonight mm -hmm. is right here by Captain Monkey Beard for Baddies Week. And I believe that's Mecha Godzilla. And is this a transforming one? I can't remember. I don't can't recall. Pretty cool though. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Um I definitely I think, think that there's works. some if I want to be honest, I think there's room for improvement, but I'm not saying it's a bad set, more like you can do a lot more with it. Like, really Don't... make it look like Godzilla. <laughs> Is a palindrome? What's a palindrome? Watch me something inappropriate and they got me to say it and I didn't even know. No, I know what a palindrome is. I don't... Well, I kind of do. I took English. I, I know words. You took English. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, of course. No. Um, I actually... I'm not even getting into it. I'm I got the senior award for English in high school, and I still don't know this word. But then again, I might have known it then, and I forgot by now. I don't know, I because I graduated last year, so I was I graduated during COVID. Woo, COVID graduation! Here, go get a picture taken. That's it. <laughs> yeah. You know, anyways, a cool flamethrower arm on him. I like the use of these um little connector, these claw pieces for the fingers. It's a cool touch. We're sticking a balance well. Tail is cool. Can we see another angle or just the one? I think we've seen some of angles before. Have, yeah. Overall, well done. 
This is our first entry for the villain theme. Castle Brick 2.0. If you haven't seen this before, this is actually a transformer of me. That It transforms from me into a castle. And it's the second version of it in this little picture there. Wow. I wonder Let's if see. I'll ever have an audience like that. That'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> if you hang out here long enough, then the regulars all seem to get memed into things. I mean, Hellcat, he makes... Yay! He makes Hellcat makes a lot of cool videos for the channel. He doesn't really hang out on the server much, but even though I didn't hang out much on the server, he's now a tank engine. So you you too could be a tank engine. I want to be a tank engine. <laughs> it's always been my dream. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Goat is almost it's funny because he's like the he's one he's the best character I think we have in the streams and the videos. Uh, but he's almost never in the actual server, but all the memes are about him. Usually anyway. Yeah. This, I saw the preview of. He's coming latest mock out. Beware. I was trying to guess what it would be. My guess is some sort of red bandit type thing. The black hair. I For some hit reason, I'm thinking on. Predator. I don't know why. <laughs> well, he's built, a, he's built me as a mech. He's built um, Professor Goat mech. So I feel like it has to be coming soon. Something else in the channel lore. Maybe the red bandit. And I see like an old cannon here too. It makes you wonder if it could be from that era. But yeah, I think he said it wasn't that. So you have to wait and see. We got like a purposely broken piece here but yeah we'll find out when we get further down next by um ian tales from the Moonverse, we have a lego ideas project so i'm gonna just so we can keep going i don't actually pull up the lego ideas link but i am gonna switch over to myself and see where it's at so it's got 409 days left 754 supporters so definitely use your help we we'll try to get them to the 1000 mark um as soon as possible and the theme and the build is prince the symbol musicology three in one set wall art Concert stage and iconic guitar. So this is like the ultimate set if you're a print fan of um Prince. Let's take a look. You can see all three here. Cool stage there. The wall art. What was the third thing? It was the guitar. Very nice. Any one of these alone could be a set, but an idea set, I guess, would be a compilation of all three of these things. I don't really know what to say because I've never listened to Prince. <laughs> I'm not that, that big into like bands in general either, but I can admire the build. The stage is all gold. Oh, yeah. The piano there, very impressive. The drum set's well done. Even got the cymbals on disconnected there. We're really yeah. starting to see a surge in people's themes coming true, especially with licensed themes. I mean, we got Winnie the yeah. Pooh. Personally, was I was rooting for... Um, there's actually a Lego idea set for Hyrule Castle, and I'm still rooting for it, but I doubt it's going to happen. <laughs> Did you hear my luck, by the way, what I found in a dumpster, literally? I don't think what? I've told everyone this yet. So I think it's about a week ago now. <clears throat> I was taking out the garbage, and the dumpster was just about was almost completely empty. And at the bottom, I see a box with the new blacksmith Lego idea set. I'm like, oh, someone threw, threw that set away. And then I threw the, my bag in, and I, and I heard like a noise, like Lego. I'm like, wait a second. I look in, and there's a, a whole garbage bag full of just the Lego from that. Half the bags are unopened like, from the set. And someone just bought the Blacksmith set, started building it, and just gave up, and they threw it in a garbage bag and threw it in the dumpster. So I found in an almost empty dumpster, so it's still not this, it's not gross or anything, an intact Blacksmith set. And I think it could be complete. And, like, what are the odds of that? That someone, that one, someone would throw out a Blacksmith set. Two, I would find, it would be found before it got buried in dumpster. Three, I would be the one who find it. And four, the set I find would be a castle theme set, which is my favorite. So it just seemed like, I don't know, unbelievable that I would find that. I feel I mean, like YouTube has a way of choosing the chosen ones. <laughs> That's it, how it does it. I've disinfected it several times. I'm still a little hesitant. I want to make sure it's completely clean before I build it. But I lucked out that there was no other trash in the bag and dumpster was empty. And there's actually the White House set inside there as well. So that was kind of cool. Knock, mm. knock, nog. Gonk backwards is nog. What everyone's still talking about. Know, um, gonk, 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 gonk. Please, no. <laughs> Just Nico, I can make you one. Nico, what do you want to be? Because these these guys, they, they will build whatever you say of yourself. Like, give them an idea, they'll do it. <clears throat> Just I have to remember, Neko, not Nico. Yeah, it's Neko. You can call me Nico, but you know, Neko is the pro, 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 the appropriate way to say it. It's cut. It derives from cat in Japanese. So okay. you should have seen Professor Goat when he first got here. People like Mister, um, what they call him, Professor Got, but Mister Goatee. Like everyone, they called him everything but Professor Goat. They couldn't get his name right. 
And honestly, right now, I'm not really looking for mocks. I'm looking for people to help spread my channel around so I can eventually be like you. <laughs> Your channel name again? I can give a shout out. Just Neko. Just Neko? So everyone make sure to give and Neko a shout It's like my username on Discord. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, feel free to share your videos in the stream anytime. And you know, sometimes, like we saw the tank area, people make quick content for the streams and like a short video clip. You ever do that, it'll show up in the stream and you'll get like a little free advertising. Not that we have the biggest audience, it's usually like maybe like 15 people watching the stream at once. After replays, it gets like two to 300, but still helps. Anything helps. Oh, two to 300 is pretty good. I mean, That's I used to work you, with a like, YouTuber who I thought was a good person. He was not, but you know, <laughs> sad. he wasn't That's a Lego crazy. YouTuber either, so it makes sense. No, <laughs> what's this piece here? Like, um, oh, it's the heart piece, all gold. That's cool. I love the different symbols on the um the shield piece. Very nice. Plenty of gold usage. The piano looks amazing. The purple. Too many hits. Oh yeah. Very there may well be done. some really cool minifigure pieces, even if you're not a fan of um prints. If that yeah. became a set, there'd be some cool pieces. That's the thing people miss about Wise Idea sets. They're worth supporting. Even if you don't like the theme specifically, um, it still could have some amazing pieces. Very nice. I think if Lego wasn't so stubborn, we'd have some really cool sets out there. <laughs> awesome. Let's go on further down. Vice comments back on train. Here's a semi-streamlined uh, 462. Let's take a look. We need a, tra a train expert in here. Uh, round front to it. You got a magnet there. Very nice. Is that a magnet connector? It might be. You can't quite tell. Once again, I'm so wondering. So someone's offering to make me a mock. So I'm not looking <laughs> for be. really a mock, but if someone can make like a sick fig, you know, like a yes, character reference. The inspiration. Make it look just <laughs> like him. Yeah, maybe not just like me. I don't <laughs> want this <beard> here. <laughs> this weird patchy beard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is just like you. I obviously don't look exactly like the king. He's got a much bigger beard than I do. TV, TV you Jill John want me to join? Uh, sure, TV. <laughs> we'd love to have you. They got Lego to pronounce goat wrong. Do they not know? We didn't make the connection, ironically enough. That was the point of his name at first. But this is a pretty cool set. Um, <laughs> honestly, it reminds me of the Hogwarts Express that I got, except... It's Similar like train type, view. yeah. Pretty cool. Have you actually been on the uh, the Hogwarts Express at a Universal Park before? I wish I would do anything to go to Universal Orlando and go into Hogwarts. I'm actually I planning to go it. in um September, so I'm very excited to go on that. Lucky. I think you, you go through the Diagon Alley, um, everything, and then you take the train from there, and it takes you actually to the Hogwarts in area in the um other park. So it's like a Speaking of which, with the um, Diagon Alley set, I do believe they're going to do an extent extension for Nocturne Alley because they completely ignored <laughs> it. They just left the sign there and they're like, "Good luck." <laughs> for the um, Lego set. Yeah, for Lego Diagon Alley, I want to see Nocturne cool. Alley. That would be a lot creepier. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I just sent TV Studios the links. We'll see if he joins us. We'll get a whole chat of um Lego YouTubers. Be cool. Do you play oh, Lego game? Uh, what's Lego game? Uh, this one. I'm currently playing Lego Harry Potter Years 5 through 7. Almost 100 percent of it, so. I play mostly um, older Lego games, but yeah, I have played the Harry Potter one before. It's pretty fun. I actually picked it up, I think, on this, the Switch recently because it was on sale for like dirt cheap. Nice. I got it for the PS4, but that's because it was my favorite as a child. My new favorite is Lego Dimensions. Honestly, I don't think a lot of people gave it as much of a chance as they should have. Especially now that the start of it's like 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Once again, I'm wondering if these technic pieces turn of the wheels. Very nice. I like this bar piece going across here. Uh, I like the alternating black, red, black here. I don't know a ton more about trains to comment on this, but overall, it's a fantastic job once again. I keep forgetting the Double check for any villain. Yeah, we didn't pass any new villains. Becca Godzilla was the first villain. Awesome. And I think we'll find the villain TV now. Mr. TV, hello. Hello. So you know the train that comic built? When it's yeah. four six two, the wheel configuration. So it's got the four wheels at the front. 
the six wheels at the side, uh, like the bigger wheels are six wheels because there's three on each side. Then there's two wheels at the back, which there's oh, one. Oh, that makes sense. That's what it means. I knew it had to mean something. Yeah. Awesome. Interesting. Oh, this is How the one we saw uh, previewed. Castle Brick 2, uh, Baddies Week. This is the one we saw previewed early on. It is a red bandit. Uh, this mock is a collab of Marauder Kim. Some say it's a myth, some say it's a legend. The red bandit has been spotted in a new suit of armor, which scientists say is Cybertronian in origin. Uh oh. This monstrosity has been dumbed dubbed the Crimson Outlaw. Reports suggest that there was more behind the scene, and a lot more awaits the Kingdom of Club Brick from this fallen foe. Stay tuned to see how the parries continues. I am waiting for the day that Professor Goat Transformer faces off against this in our Mock Wars. The face is not rendered as all known virtual programs if used to render such ugliness. <laughs> he transforms into the ca a cannon the size of Castle Brick. Oh my goodness. That is terrifying. No, no. <laughs> no, the red bandit i think ardent four over here earlier he made a render well he made a modified version of the red bandit's face where he's actually smiling he just flipped the frown upside down it looks terrifying huh. it's interesting i'd like to add the worn effects to the pieces the cannon there <clears throat> is that a chip piece i think it is i like the little um no. gauges here belt buckle the planks to wood wagon wheels Cool. So I that's the one thing that cool. saddens me when I piece breaks. It's happened so many times. Here, though, it seems like it fits. Sometimes Lego's good about sending you replacement pieces if um, it breaks. True. When you're yeah. making mocks, it makes sense, but when it's a set that you just haven't built in a while, it's just sad. Yeah, it is sad. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. So I left the wheels there. What, I want to see it transform. I hope we get, Yep, there we go. I had a feeling I turned to one of these. I, I can't help it. I know it's bad to say, but I've seen you ever seen in cartoons like the cannon fails to fire and the cannonball just plunks down. If that happens here, it's gonna yeah. bonk him right in the head like a loony tune. <laughs> the cannon misfires with yeah, bonk. They'll just have him to cut cut yeah. He'll be fine. Be cool. I can see the connection there, the wheels. I was hoping it turned to some sort of old fashioned cannon like this. That's amazing. And this is a size of castle brick. That is terrifying. <laughs> well done. Yeah. One cannonball could destroy everything. I know. <laughs> it's got three crins, Professor Goat react, now four. Professor Goat is not happy about that. And we have Chimera's version of the Crimson Outlaw, which from which this mock was inspired by inspired by. Uh, she was inspired by this. You've got a king here as well of a golden sword. Pretty cool. Is that the is that like the um is that the mock or is that like because that looks like it's from the one of the original Kingdom <coughs> sets, kind of. I think it is a mock, but um, he's saying this is one that Kamara made that um, inspired him to make this. Okay. Pretty cool. I'm a firing me laser. The golden sword on <laughs> the spike there, the cannon. Very nice. Who just pops in? Exo tried to join. Exo, it says device not... Oh, there you go. Exo, hello. Why do you join muted? Excel they want to learn. <laughs> he, he just wants to see his name on screen. He doesn't even want to talk. Shame on you, Excel. I want to be famous. <laughs> Excel is famous enough. Next That's by true. Methione Mill. What do we say that? Tank Engine. Like just cool him, man. Yeah, it's called Meth. It's definitely right meth. now it's only in a digital design. Yeah, we got a lot of digital designs. Um, let's see, super mm -hmm. little cab on the train here. Uh, yeah, I like this one, but for the like the windows and the doors, put like a tile piece to cover yeah. the studs. Because yeah, nice you can see right on there. all my train, I literally have no studs shown at all. Yeah, that'd be a nice touch to add. So see if you can put like a smooth two by just a one by two tile there, maybe here as well. Yeah. Also, I think there's room in the leaf as well. Mm -hmm. Overall, though, you got the shaping right. Let's take a look at some of the other angles. Head on looks pretty cool. Very nice. You get the bumper there. A, a regular brick here. Kind of cool. Very nice. Tank like engine by. What was that? 
I like what you did with the domes. So have you um, gone to picture again? The domes right so, here. You know those golden bits at the top. The golden bits at the Up top. Here? Yeah. Those are what they're domes. So um, I oh, like pretty cool. how it's pretty smooth. Nice touch. Uh. Let me scroll back out. A little further down, what do we have? We have Ooh. fastest armor in the world. Bum was fat was dumb enough to um put this in a mock race against I forget what I raced against, but it was something yeah. It was me. It, it was against you, was into your train. Yeah, it was gonna just it's gonna run over its fingers. Can trap the thing. I, I, think it's a, I think it's a really close build to an actual hand, honestly. It looks think, straight up like an exo. You know, I think that's a hand. Hand. He 3D printed it, right? Yes, yeah, so this yeah. actually is one solid piece he 3D printed. No, it's not solid. The fingers actually move. The fingers can move? That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. it's individual little connectors there. That's kind of neat. That's the whole point of it. He wanted to use it for a stop motion. Very nice. Pretty cool. Is it an evil hand? Can we count it as a villain? Camaro says we're working together with Red Bandit stuff. Awesome. Club Rick, Camber I think we should. I think we should count it. Little minifigures. This definitely counts. Up. See Arden in there. I think that's... Is that you back there? DB? Is yeah. Red Dragon. Who else do we see? This Camaro's. Um, who else do we see? You can see. Uh, uh, you can. See, I can't, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Blue hair. The guy with the blue hair. Magic guy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Don't yeah. know how to pronounce. A lot of people. Ninja. There. The reason I'm excluded is because my figure actually is just a regular collectible figure. Can't even Are see. we villains? I, I'd say we're villains. I'm a villain. I awesome. go to your house and put your PP off. Oh, thank Please you for that. that. Please don't quote me on that. <laughs> thank <laughs> you. I'm going to beat you to death. Is that your first words of the stream, XO? Yeah. Anyways, going down by Vice you, Comics. Let's see, we got Martin another cool thing. I love seeing this um, fence connection here. It gives room to actually walk around yeah, outside yeah. the train. Uh, uh, so, back. You're cutting out a little bit. Walking outside the train is quite weird. It's really not. It's actually quite useful. Because when, so say you have end of failure and train just yep. stops. You're always going to have to have someone go out there. So there's always going to have to be rails. Like, rail, not track rails, as in railings on the side. Otherwise, they're going to die. They're just going to fall off the track or the train. So that's why they were originally there. That's why they were added. Makes sense, yeah. We'll fall right off otherwise. Take the vents on the side here. Right, well done. You're actually what quite the, near to the end. The end of the stream? We're not now, are we? Quite dry. I think we're close. Yeah, we're quite, and quite hard. This is like... I, think we're about to die. I can't believe we're close to the bottom already, because you take as much longer than this. We'll find out. It'd yeah, be nice we'll to see this. I'm still, I'm still rendering another mock yeah, actually. So I'm not going to be able to um, post it. Did we go through them that quickly? Let's see. We didn't skip any either. Wow, yeah, there's less entries this week. Interesting. So that back actually, to the castle. That so you do mock hour. You do like day. Day. What was that? Have you, you ever done a mock hour? So I couldn't hear everyone was talking at once. Okay. What was your question? Talking to me? Yeah, whoever asked. It the might question. be because everyone's trying school <laughs> again. Like, Maybe that, yeah. yeah instantly everyone's fine. Cool. The streams were getting longer every week. We went like two and a half hours like a week ago, I think. 
Yeah, let's take a look. Red Panda 8 has an animation for us. Yeah. That guy's getting all the bad luck. Make it a little bigger. How are you still alive? <laughs> the big bird just fly away. I like this. Oh no. <laughs> I like this idea of just having all this bad luck. Oh, from it. Up the frame rate a bit. I didn't know Santa was a ninja. Why, why is he oh, Batman? Oh, the perfect characters are coming to beat you. But that might just. No. Oh. Oh, he actually had an anime. I think he, Santa should have a weapon. <laughs> nice plot twist. Yeah. Does anyone want to say I build the show? It's actually quite powerful. Do I to post this? Let's see. Mock our entry. Brick built. Bach the Drifter from the Paraka. Is that Bionicle? Oh, no. Not the Paraka. Get the That's flashbacks fine. to the rap again. <laughs> Is he from okay. the rap? My goodness. This is impressive. What do you guys think? I think I it's very to... interesting. I'm going to yeah. quickly search what he looks like. Uh, okay, so that's what he looks like in reality. I'm taking a look at some ice cream quick. Yeah, you got him so, down. Picture down below. There's a picture the, below. The audio is cutting out a bit. Okay. I had an idea that um, I don't know if you already do this, but like you do mock videos a lot. Yeah. What if you did video reactions? Like, you know, it would help other people, not just me. I'm actually like, doing it for everyone who's small. Reacting <laughs> to like your to someone else's video, you mean? Essentially, yeah. Having people send their content and reacting, it could be oh. like it could be from anything. As long as it's yeah. not appropriate. I have to make stuff. sure I have permission because I don't want to just steal someone's content. But like we kind of do that to a degree. People post their stop motion stuff in the feature my mock channel and they see my reaction to it in the live show. But if, it, if we want like an actual video to it or something, yeah, it'd have to be a long enough content to be worth it though, because no one wants to see my reaction to like a 30 second I think stop motion. We'll be able to submit. Like. Yeah. You are welcome yeah. to post anything like that's relevant to like the show in here, any stop motions, anything like that. And he like mocks in action, but yeah, if you want to suggest something I might want to do a reaction video to, just feel free to send it to me. I don't know if I can do that right now. <laughs> I'm currently okay. stuck in the stream. Awesome. Anyway, great job in this. Make a brick version, a brick built version of a Bionicle. It looks like he's in mid song right now. His mouth's open, like he's singing, do different poses. I kind of like that. So I think this is in the running. Ah, uh, so then, yeah. <laughs> Oh, and here's the actual one. I could have just scrolled down and saw. You nailed it. You made a brick for it, built version of the Bionicle. Awesome. I haven't seen the comments in a bit. The chat's been pretty quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Next by Captain Monkey B. <laughs> Here it is. All rendered. And you say that was Gordon, not Thomas? Or is this one Thomas? I think you said you were making Gordon earlier. I think this one actually is Thomas. Okay, no, this oh, was this Edward. One. This one's Edward. Edward. That's what it was. Well, so since we Edward were was actually the smallest train before the train. I remember that now. That was it. And that's it. Very nice. You get to mention. Are you gonna add like a, a face somehow, like a sticker? Or... Yeah. Um. So I was looking for a load old toy of Edward from five. So I decided to build this, and that was my first one. Oh, and I built four other ones in a day, so it's a bit mad, but pretty happy with this turn. Your next mission is to build an evil Thomas. <laughs> well done. In fact, that could be the challenge. Everyone needs to build evil Thomases. <laughs> awesome. Well done. Just, oh, do this that. is a sad I thing. It will be done. I don't want to look at this. A sad thing. A ten-year-old boy, I was terminally asked for a Lego cast to be buried in. Uh, someone was able to make that happen. Oh, I would like to be buried in a Lego casket. Oh, it's ardent about to steal the win. An entry for this uh, week's mock-out competition: baddies, railroad peril, featuring a classical movie scenario where the villain has tied the hero to the railway. What you guys decided it was train week? I swear. 
You guys derailed my whole plan for everyone to compete at Train Week. Hey, fun um, intended. Derailed. <laughs> yes, I know. Has tied the hero to the railway tracks in the path of an oncoming stream. Is train. that? I built, built it in light gray and white to simulate an old movie. Oh my goodness, that's like the Sam Sinister faces. Is it was a Sam Sinister or Baron Von Baron? One, they mix up the names sometimes. <laughs> from, uh, from um Johnny Thunderville theme. I get mixed up because in one of the Lego games, it gets like that's a racer too. They swap yeah. the names around. He's Johnny Thunderville, and I love to use the black and white effects and all the gray. And you actually use very impressive. Very nice, get an audience here, and even add all dark colors, just so it looks like the lights are off in the room. That's a cool effect. They could have all different hair colors, but they're black just because like it's the effect of the dark movie theater. Very ornate theater, the shell decorations, the handcuffs up there. What was that? Your sound keeps cutting out still. That's okay. He could have just made a picture. He could just made a picture of the screen too, but he actually chose to build the whole scene here. You can see him tied to the tracks. The Even the boards thing, are gray. The sad thing is, um, yeah. the balusters are actually supposed to go over. And he didn't just like build a build and like take track. power out of the image. That's one thing. Everything he actually is in gray. All he could have done is literally put. Yeah, but. It sounds very really cutting out. We can only hear like every other word. Yeah. Put uh, like another stud on the other side of the track, so it's not always that's on my end. It might just be that I'm lagging. Let's see if you can hear. I think it's that, yeah. We're not catching a lot of your words. Rip, anyway, though. One more angle here, very nice. That is a terrifying face. <laughs> 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 Neko, can we use this for your face piece when you make your custom figure? Oh, come on. <laughs> Would you like that? Oh, no. <laughs> CB, use that for Neko's face. No, you don't have to. That's right? terrifying. Why would I... <laughs> the world's the best sick fit. No, we won't do that. And I think he's famous for my terrifying to sick fit. <laughs> Thank goodness. Awesome. This one's definitely in the running, if not the leader right now. No surprise, Ardens is our highest winning one ever. Let's I see. think we should just change the theme to trains. Oh, <laughs> it's sad TB left right and we got to um, his build. TB, if you want to pop back in, write your build now. You can see if you can try to explain it. Let's try on our own. This is the DV12. Let's see. And take a look mm -hmm. here. I'm hoping he's refreshing his internet and jumping back in. Okay, TB, you want to join back in and tell us about your build? I will skip it and go back just in case he wants to tell us about it. So I'll, start, I'll go to here quick. Intel to entry. You guys all converged and decided it was train week. I swear, there's no way this is a coincidence. You, you guys made this train <laughs> week. Okay, TB. <laughs> want to tell us about your um, train build here? DB12? Okay, so this is DV12. So I was talking to Nora in chat, and he was like, he was saying about making like um, finished trains. So this was one of this actually has sentimental value to me, in a way, because my great granddad used to, um, they used to pretty much drive one of these. Oh, so, nice. I, before he died, he actually used this train, so. That's pretty cool. It's a nice, nice you can memorial. see in the next picture, I actually, uh, actually edited the windows. Oh, nice. I can see the windows there. Yeah. Pretty cool. You got a second train for us as well here. And Spencer, now is that never Thomas? Is this on Thomas as well, or? Yeah, um, he he's based on the Mallard, like his actual. So he is from Thomas, yeah. But his well, he is like a square face. Type right? is actually based on the Mallard. Yeah, but he holds the record 
for the fastest steam locomotive in the world. And he, wow, to this the day? fastest speed he's gone at is one six miles. So what he, was the number fast. again? The number cut out. 126 what? miles per hour. 126. Got it. Awesome. Very nice. 126 miles per hour. We heard you that time, yeah. <laughs> the connections are all um, lining up perfectly here. You can see the individual pieces, but yeah, no exposed studs at all, except where it makes sense in the coal there. Great work. I, You guys just cleared this train Thank weeks you. behind the scenes. This is a prank on me. <laughs> insult to injury. Guess I'll nah, put this nah, here. Nah. I didn't hear what. You want in on this joke? Just like, wait. I could, not, I could not hope with this many trains no, if it was train tweet. We've had more trains than pillars. Just wait. Next mock stream is going to be Evil Thomas. <laughs> so, oh, so. <laughs> I can make you a sig fig, Neko. Only question is what color pants do you want? No, he's he gonna wants salmon colored pants. Give him that face we chose and salmon colored pants. No. <laughs> so you, can, you can tell what you want. No, I would like black pants. Um, anything else would work, wouldn't work, or would just up to you. It'd be cool if my character had like a hoodie or something. That'd be cool. <laughs> if anyone wants to try to redesign the king anytime, feel free to. Like, at some point, I got to give him an update. What was that? Insult oh, I'm on. Told Insult just revealed the whole. So this was a plot. I knew it. You guys should have saved like a few weeks to April Fool's Day or something. Is April Fool's Day on a Friday? That's on a Thursday. It still would have counted in the second. Anyway, I got here. I already got the stream for April Fool's Day. We'll do meme mocks. <laughs> Guess I'll put this here. Custom designed zero four zero tank. It's in vaguely okay, inspired. Baltimore and Ohio C16. Well, none of you know what that means or whatever. I believe TB knows what that means, if we can hear him, but his sound's working so badly tonight. Okay, He's a but, trooper. Um, it's actually quite an old train, if I'm um, thinking of the right one. But when it says 4-0, that's once again the wheel configuration. There's four wheels. Awesome. And so, the, if I'm remembering correctly... Reason it's got such a rounded shape on the boiler is because it generates steam that it uses. It. That's why it has a massive funnel as well. Oh, it's a very squat and train, a lot domes. like shorter so than the other ones. Are meant to like hold steam. I'm done. I notice it's a lot more squat than ever trains you've seen wide as opposed to long. Yeah, it's quite accurate. Very nice. Thanks for sharing. It's tempting to just choose the best train this week, but I know I got to be fair to people who made villains. Let's see, Lego. What does that say? Well, the thing is, I have funky. Accounts. What does it say? Friday night. Friday funky. night funky. <laughs> or something. Friday. Night. Is that from something? I'm trying. I don't get the reference. What is that? Friday night fucking. It's like a classic Friday. space. Um. T-shirt there. They got microphones. You got some sort of vampire over here. I don't know. I just like some rough. cool figures. I'd buy it. You guys, never, <laughs> you guys never heard of uh, Friday Night Funkin'? That new uh, game that died. It's like a popular, I think. Like it's a, a like it's supposed to be like a Lego version of that game. Uh, someone I, I think made it. The one when you like uh, pressing the keys to like uh, for like a like a song. You guys don't know? Thanks, Ooh, something about an apocalypse tank. I want to see this. <laughs> Next by D&D. &D. Update that apocalypse tank. I also made a second one. Let's take a look. So here's the updated one here. You can see all the... So as we, we normally criticize the tank for having all these like, loose pieces that's got studs exposed. But for an apocalypse tank, it wants to look that way to some degree. So it's like a license to be it's sloppy because you would be sloppy in apocalypse in yours. You're limited you to supplies. Is, people just think. I still regret not getting a pocket. People just bird. think if you make some random colors, you put. Uh, you're cutting out so much. Sadly. The thing is with. The thing is. Forget like every word. Stuff. People just put random colors. Chains. 
and think, oh, that's good. Mm. You do really good of this one, though. Um, I like the connections here. The gun looks kind of cool. I like the Easter this on little ray gun piece up top there. Pretty nice. Different color wheels. Yes, a pop is a very good way to like cheat and make your build a little bit sloppy. I feel like th there's evidence that he purposely intended for it to be that way. He didn't just make a, a sloppy tank and say, I'll just call it Apocalypse. He actually did intend. Like, he didn't have to make these crooked unless he wanted to look that way. So I give you your props for that. Second Apocalypse tank here. Hmm. A little um, box here on this one. Some loose pieces coming out. Another chain, of course. Okay. You're right there. I said the chain. Wait, no. I think I've seen it before. Two pulling off antenna. Why does it remind me of Luke's landscape? <laughs> uh, because they're both rectangular. Okay, this degree. one doesn't look like an apocalypse. It doesn't look it as does tank like look... the first one. Right. It's different, though. At all. Like an apocalypse tank at all. It looks like not an apocalypse one. Hmm. It's more like just that. a tank made out of scrap metal. <laughs> uh, are we going so fast today because, I don't know, because there's less entries or because we had some talkative hosts before who aren't here today? I wonder which it is. I think there's a lot less entries. I wonder what a sudden drop was because we like, we we're growing every week. We have one hour to two hours. And we had like two and a half hours last week. I'm like, what am I going to do? This show is growing too quick. And now we're like almost done. It's crazy. Next by um, Red Dragon plays again. Red Band is mech come next week. Get ready. Buy this for my only entry for today. I don't think there's a minifigures like it to win, but I like your custom take on the Red Band here. Pretty cool. Huh. He Gotta has a bow tie. <laughs> what a gentleman. Apparently. <laughs> a gentleman band. Oh, he wants to rob The Hellcat expresses him as well. Oh, nice. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's like ready the to like say, uh, oh, oh, my goodness. Be gentle. Hellcat Express. Because last week, Hellcat <laughs> barred my approval. I seriously doubt he did that to you. You haven't even seen Hellcat. <laughs> oh, my goodness. No, it's the only thing having your pizza no, rolls far on. He came to house. He flew to my and Let's make this an official Lego set. <laughs> the only thing worse than someone farting on your pizza roll is farting in them. So you don't know until you bite into them. Like, oh, oh. Just a thought. Anyway, <laughs> this, thanks for the nightmares. It's a, it indeed Hellcat. It's a tank. It's beautiful. Very nice. <laughs> I feel like this almost could have been a meme for the mocks, but well done. Thank you. I'm thinking of Robert Muse's face. Like, it's not even like a, a, it is like a, a print, it's just a picture. <laughs> well, make it a sticker in the FSO version. Very nice. Are you? Next by what is that noise? Ooh, what is this? I need to see this. Alan Rojo, thanks for joining us. By the way, if anyone wants to get hey, a bill feature on the show, it's not too late. Let us know. We'll give you a link to where you can share it. Cell. Everyone who is watching, though, be sure to drop a like on the stream. Next by Arden Ford, the journalist. Make sure to smash thing. the like button. This one's really good. An old like Unless you're gonna come to your house and fight on your pizza rolls. Thank you, XO. Another good idea is missing, which never You're made welcome. It. Does the alien in this build count as a baddie? Hmm. I mean, it looks like looks oh, like a prison. A baddie. The alien would be a baddie. I wouldn't see this as like a baddie no. theme build, though. It's not like it's his lair or something like that. I mean, let's see. I mean, there's a game. There's a, a game when you're a journalist, and it's like a very scary game. What? So they could probably think it's something like that. I mean, it looks very, looks very run down and kind of similar to that game, like very yeah. like old looking. I like the uh, the bricks on the sidewalk there, different colorations. That's kind of cool. The worn down stones. Look at the wanted posters, all crooked. A nice warm Why look. Why isn't it. his head on? Uh, um, it might be because it doesn't. Head hmm, does that head go down all the way? Maybe it doesn't go down all the way. I'm not sure. It I'm might not go sure. Down. It's actually it's it changing itself to be scary. You sure? Like it's weird. It's not normal. I'm not sure. Maybe it usually goes in conjunction with some sort of like neck piece, something. I can't remember where that piece is from. I would it's buy some Lego minifigures, that's for sure. Because I, 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 I have that figure. 
Yes, the journalist. From Lego yeah. Multigress, uh, I think that uh, the, the series three, I think, I think it was like lime color. Eyes black, hair unknown, build average. It's like literally like Emmett. Pretty cool. Emmett Jr. Yes. Some more. Oh, we can see the interior here. That's kind of cool. Touch. You got the bed, a little bowls and board, kitchen down here. You got an old fashioned telephone. Very this nice. could definitely be turned into a horror game with the right tools. <laughs> <laughs> like it would be like a haunted house or something. <laughs> awesome. The journalist is my last interior here. Got some um, orange juice or something. Very nice. Cool coffee table here. I like the little um, mail slots. That's for Lego sorting, of course. Is that just like milk? You have a milk box? Very nice. Milk. <laughs> Very nice. The greatest hero ever. A silver whip there. Some planks. There's some backstory here. going on. Hiding Definitely. in the background. Arden has a lot of detail in there. What's the script here? Very nice. Oh, the little well, um, Dino Adventures there from um, Adventurers, Johnny Thunder. A lot of little I have to. I actually have to go. Do you mind if I promote for a second? <laughs> yeah, God, give yourself a shout out. All right. So, I I may not have much content coming, but I got two new videos coming. My channel's called Just Neko, and I basically record my Lego journey. I know I took that from another YouTuber, but he did the same thing. So, <laughs> Awesome. But, yeah. yeah. You guys should, should check it out, subscribe, you know, um, share it around. All right. I have to go, guys. Thanks for joining my us. Phone's to go. Awesome. All right. We'll see ya. To, talk to you later. And there goes the only face we had on the screen. Sadly enough, until my camera works. Anyways, going down further by you again, we have the Red Bandit train. You guys think, it, let's see. Pretty impressive. I like the little brown um, smokestacks. They got three of them. Very nice. Keep me trying to talk because I know the mic is working terribly, so I can't even tell. Actually, you got to pick up the slack and talking because um, TV's mic is working terribly and we lost Neko. So, Exo, tell me everything you know about trains. Exo. I can try to draw my laptop. Exo, wake up. We can't do that because your camera's off. I don't think you were here, TB. There was a time when um, Exo fell asleep on stream. We got to wake him up. It was funny. You're joking. There's actually, we did a little highlight video of it. It's like Lego YouTuber falls asleep, something like that. The video on the channel of it. He, he hit mute when I yelled that, so. I'll look. Yeah, it was funny. Anyway, though, I like your um, Red Bandit train here. Pretty cool design. Got his color scheme. That's a nice stand in for his like, cowboy hat. Even got the yellow for like, his face there. A lot of the colors represented. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So was it was there actually a plot to make this train weak? Who is in on this? I have to know. Sorry, can you repeat that? What was that? Oh, Neko left right before his signature figure came out. I just can saw that on Bizarro. That oh, I said, was there actually a plot to derail Baddies Week and turn into Train Week? Oh, no, 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 there wasn't. Since there's like a hundred trains. Because there's a lot of people who are interested. Why is King back? And awesome. I think because he, he was my inspiration. He was Meth's inspiration. So I think that's the reason why. I said I posted the train and everyone else yeah. posted trains. It's got to be happening. Exactly. Awesome. Arden 4, another entry for the baddies competition. I tended to run to the bill. But uh, for some reason, it won't render. Plus, due to being too big, I had to do some, some screenshots. The villain's paradise. An HQ fit for all the villains of classic themes. Ooh, you know I love classic themes. 
uh, pirates, Western adventurers. It features entrance into underground cave, jail, hidden in the well, a submarine hangar, a hut, and plenty of gold. Oh, yeah. Oh, it reminds you of like the old Lego computer game graphics. So it looks like even like a I don't know, Lego Game Boy game graphics. When you, it's all pixel like this. I understand it's because you had the screenshot, but pretty cool. I can recognize a few different bandits there. There's the Red Bandit, of course. There's some uh, Johnny Thunder villains. Very nice. Oh, and we can see um, the professor from um, whatever his name is from Johnny Thunder locked in the jail. That's sad. Very nice. As you can see the inside of the cave here. The hut's kind of cool. Oh, the fish. You have them up in the air, too. And this is like sea level. Very nice. I wish we had a better um, render of this, but I understand you couldn't get it to work. Really, this wooden render, though, too big. I, I'd see you render much bigger things than this. Look at all the guns they have on the wall there. Pretty cool. This little band of villains. Oh, you get the other um, little um, bandit from the Western as well. Very nice. Oh, poor professor. Before Lego had the right to Indiana Jones, we had Johnny Thunder and this guy standing in for like um, Henry Jones. Very nice. Always oh, chained up. That's sad. Keep out. Dr. Kilroy. Sheriff liquidate. Oh, the orders take out the sheriff. Captured. This Dr. Kilwright's name. He's captured. It's marked off. Governor Broadside from Pirates, the um, Imperial Admiral. Very cool. <laughs> Do you think if the heroes actually found the base, the keep out sign would actually keep them away? I really doubt it. Scrolling down further, we have another angle here. We can okay, see the treasure up here. Oh, no problem. Thanks for joining. Right, go. Talk to you later. But before I go, out again. Uh, vote me and or um, Hellcat will your pizza rolls. Do you have a vote for the? Never mind. I didn't get a vote from anyone, so chat's got to help me pick the winner tonight. I feel bad choosing it on my own. But we'll still have a few more to get through, I'm sure. Look at the monkey upside down there. Very nice. Managed to render the sub, but it was smaller than the rest of the mock. Oh, the, the skulls on the side. That's so cool. Very nice. That's, that's a cool sub. Reminds you of something like Team Rocker to go on. Didn't they have like a Gyarados sub that was powered by like bike pedals and on the old Pokemon So Very cool. I wish we could have my camera on, but it's not seemed to work tonight. Also managed to render the interior of the cabin by detasting it from the rest of the mock. Very nice. I like all the rifles hanging on the wall, the dinosaur head. Very cool. Arden's definitely in the running for to win once again. Rise Comics, here is the strange looking high speed train with two power cars and four coaches. Very nice. I guess we're getting to the hour and a half mark, so not uh, mark, so we're not that less um, entries than before. Not much less. Pretty nice. Consistent carts all the way along. I can see the this is where the um the wire would connect. I like the shaping on the front, the triangle gap there, these two pieces. You normally see this piece like the front of a car or, or some sort of thing like that, but you use two of them at the front of the train. That's interesting. I wonder if the axle train is based on has a gap there as well. Pretty cool that it worked out. Very nice. Coast up on the power car. Each coat is identical to the back end of this. I had a feeling. Actually, you're going to turn your mic on and help with the show. Dang it, XO. What should we do with XO? Can I force your mic on mute? I cannot. Over it's train weeks not, I'm going to submit trains. That's fine. Everything's welcome. I was just surprised so many went through. Once I get my hands on a decent mic, I'd love to come on the show. Oh, we love that. Um, if you want a cheap mic, just literally get like a gaming headset. Like mine is like 20 or 30 bucks. TV's back. Okay, I can't hear I'm anything. back. Three on the awesome. bus left. Exo, you wouldn't oh, even talk. Did we didn't end yet. No, we're still going. But um, we saw this castle already earlier, Exo. Yeah, I, I was too tired, and I thought I didn't post it, so I just posted it again. I guess it gets kind of like better because I actually added a, a description to some of the stuff. 
So Lego didn't approve it. Why didn't they like this? Like, uh, because one the the uh, the person isn't they were stopping the rain and it's just like they wanted me to crop it. So the only way I could I could crop it so that I was like a partially cut out from from the bottom for some reason. Uh, no, okay. previously didn't happen. Yes, now I, now they wanted me to make it like a, a like a less tall picture for some reason. That makes sense. Uh, and also because uh, in the description I mentioned that it's like someone so, so, something like similar to Final Fantasy, and that and they tell me to not mention Final Fantasy. Uh, and just the gaming, we let people join the show basically if they're someone who we usually let other YouTubers join, particularly Lego YouTubers, but we let other guests as well as long as they have like a good mic and they're comfortable talking. And of course, you're the age that's able to be on the show, like 13 plus. But if you'd like to pop on, um, yeah, we can do that. Just shoot me a message on the Discord, King John Brick, and I can shoot you a link. We are getting close to the end, though. Exo share, of course. You shared your build. You share every week your Lego Ideas project. It looks like it's at 77 supporters. It's a weekly reminder. Yeah. I mean, that could be. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's weekly, weekly reminder allowed? Weekly reminder yeah, allowed? Just, well, just once okay, a week only. Cool. Right? And um, yeah. yeah, everyone make sure to give that a vote. Let's try to get to 100 supporters before the 44 days are up. Awesome. Probably won't happen, Let's but I mean, uh, keep your hopes up. Keep your hopes up. The, the remains. I didn't. Oh, I might. Your brother um broke the mock. He said that's sad. Only phones left. I didn't find a place for a good pick. It's basically destroyed. Oh, I wish we could see it. Incredible in the bunny. The throne looks like it came out perfectly though. Just like in the early um, little teasers of Thanos. Very nice. We could have seen more. You should have snapped the picture right away. Never leave a mock unattended. That's sad though. I'm sorry that happened, Luigi. The throne looks pretty cool. Thanks for our crony. We have a cool custom figure. Cool spear on him. He's got like um triple wings on either side. Powerful spear. Very nice. I wonder if you can get much leverage with that spear if it's like tiny body compared to it, though. I like the color scheme with all overall, like his hair even matches the color of the spear, the wings. Some interesting little connections of all the little pieces here to make it work. All the little translucent blues. Very nice. Next by name I'm not even try to say. <sighs> this guy joined you know today and he made like four different or two different, three different, something like that. Lego Ideas parts. We have a big Lego Ideas base, base for group of like 4,000 people in it. So a lot of times they pop in just to like share their project. This guy, anyway, Lego Idea Project. I'll just take a look quick. 166 supporters, 423 days left. Italian Lakeside Villa, Villa de Balbianello. No, oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Let's take a look. The sunset, of course, adds Jesus. to it. But, um, this is amazing. Look at the um the shaping on the railing going up, the little rock work, the foliage, the vines going up the building, everything about this. Wow, the statue here. Great work. Let's go down a little further. Very nice. I love the um, architecture work here. So yeah, make sure to go give us a vote, guys. We can help it have a chance to become a real set. So much detail. Yeah, look at the little use of the trophies here for the um, little pillars outside the gate. Very nice. Very clever. And I mean, the detail, Jesus, I, my PC, I, that's when I was rendering that, uh, that Exoforce mock that I, that I showed you uh, today. And looking at this mix, I like this just so my PC going to explode just from trying to render it. Like, holy crap. Yeah, that's a long render. Got a cool bench right here. Oh, got leaves in the ground falling from the tree, I think. That's kind of a cool touch. I've never seen that. Very nice. And I can tell we're getting to the end because we have um, Neko's um, custom figure request here. What? what? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Is this mustache that big? That's Neko. Is that a Harry Potter head? I had that mustache. Yeah. You, you had a mustache in real Maybe life? Maybe Harry like Potter. That Harry Potter. Exo, you have this mustache in real life? No, no, no. I, ha I have the set that this uh, mustache comes from. Not this one now. If we did a train week, that I would want to join for. Well, I feel like this became train week without even intending to. Swamp leader. Um. Oh, no problem. That's right. That was your build right there. Thanks for sharing it. Very impressive. Well done. I definitely buy this, of course, if it was affordable. It's a pretty big set. If it became, um, yeah, if it made it to the regular view, best of luck. Thanks for sharing with us. One thing I want us to comment here is I like the cape on the statue there. 
The potted plants, very cool. I feel like this is like a, a, a level in a Lego game. You'd want to like smash these to get the studs to come out. Pretty cool. Anyway, extra year entry for Villains Week. Red Bandit, many years later, he has captured the errands, and now he's working with them to, kick, to take over the Wild West and get that gold. He got old. He kind of says the back of his head. Yeah. Got a peg I wanted to add a hair print. He's got a slingshot I see in his belt. That is terrifying to you. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So he lost an eye and yeah. a leg. How'd that happen? Yeah. Uh, I guess, uh, I guess, uh, kind of action in space or, or maybe, uh, fighting those, uh, cow cowboys, maybe. I don't know yeah. exactly. Shout out to Dur from the channel try, Just try to like recreate the ugliness of the original, uh, uh, red bandit, but this time actually making it feel like a Lego, I mean, semi Lego, like those from the thousands Lego. But definitely not like a, a bizarre, like, like like the original uh, Red Band. Yeah. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, you made a terrifying mouse. I think you captured the spirit of it. Thank you for joining us, yeah. Dave, and um, thanks once again for supporting the channel. Let's see the aliens he's working with. Ooh, I like this one. You get the skeleton torso, get the long legs, and that's like that's from a Ninjago, this helmet piece, right? Where is it from? No, it's from Hero Factory. You know they yeah, in, uh, okay. in the last year they had. Got it. Pretty cool. I'd love to see an actual translucent skeleton piece like this in a real set. I love how this yeah, use the too. skeleton torso, but connected different pieces to it. We don't know as we see. Very nice. Cool headpiece choice as well. Is this I a don't real really Lego? Can make it again? What? what is this piece from? Is this a real piece? Yeah, from Lego Minifigure Series 10. From the paintball oh, okay. guy. Just, I just painted, painted, painted it in the black silver. I thought it was like a real sniper rifle. Like, when did Lego make that? Ooh, the real oh, I like. it. Very nice. Cool color scheme in it. What are these two little circles? Are That's just shaping on the um, the dome, or no? It's some kind of mistake in rendering. I don't know myself. I'm still okay. reading the other pictures because there's also other functions to this this set. Oh, nice! Can't wait to see. I used to love the classic Lego UFO sets they had. And this captured the spirit a little bit because it's got the laser pieces, the long, the long poles, it's got the the um the neon yellows. Pretty cool. But this one's a lot um a lot more smaller piece than that one because I know the old the old saucers just like four pieces connected to form the disc. You actually have um brick built all the way around. Unless is this red piece the saucer piece? It might be. Is that a saucer piece right here? This red one. I, I don't know. I, I when you search corner, it got those in. And that's about it. I don't those think it is. Are type of brick. Pretty cool though. Didn't they like appear in for like for like the original Millennium Falcon? Uh, I'm not sure. Could be. Can I remember seeing know. that? See the underneath here. Very nice. You can see all the connections. How you make it all work. So there is. I can see some functionality here. Like the guns can go up and down. The loose connection pieces. Yeah, it it can open down to reveal if it's a small vehicle for Red Bandit to drive in. I mean, I mean, he has to fit somewhere. I'm not like a modern Lego where I just shove a million mini figures to a set for like a one guy to sit in. Yeah, pretty cool. I like it. So now Neko's gone, but we have his signature figure by Bizarro. Another choice here. A few different options. I probably like one of these. <laughs> you did make it the head I wanted. <laughs> oh my goodness! I got his. Yeah, this is my. That's that I, I, like I, I like this one. I like this one. I think it's. I want this one. Oh my goodness! Let me laugh. Villain like Sauron, Lord of the Rings. Ooh, you must know I'm a Lord of the Rings fan. I love this Sauron. It's all like brick built. You get the axes here. So many little pieces here to break down the little spearhead there. Brick built legs. It's a whole brick built figure. I see the little the weapons from like um what's that called Heroica or something that little sword there. Two little daggers there. Wow, you actually made a Sauron brick belt. And he actually looks pretty cool. What's his weapon though? I remember Sauron had like a big like um flail thing. You actually gave him a sword. I'm sure he had a sword at some point. This is amazing. Wow. This has to be in the running. We're at the end of the Moxville now. So now we gotta choose a winner and I gotta make wait, a decision now. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, Hold on. wait, okay. 
Okay, so while you do, hold Give on, I'm going to recap the villain. As you, you know, I'm just going to recap the okay. villain while I do this. So we had Sauron by this guy, who I can't even pronounce his name, which I very much want to vote for, but I have to be fair. I'm not sure if I can. Um, this is an entry by EXO, Red Bandit. I don't see how EXO can win because he can't vote for himself. He's <laughs> so the best conference you can tie. I mean, um, I, I don't know if I'm going to vote either. We're not going to vote at all. Okay. Hold on. Fair. Hold on. You're we'll, we'll go back to yours. Don't worry. What else for Villains Week we had? Thanos' chair by Luigi. We were sad we couldn't see the rest of it. Also for Villains Week we had, oh, the whole Villains base by Arden 4. We had the Red Bandit train by Monkey Beard. We had, what else was the villain? <clears throat> I guess it kind of counts as the Red Bandit figure. Also for villains, the really cool one we had here is another one by Art, and we had the fashion scene of the um the Wild West scene here of the Halo tied to the tracks by the villain. And that's the face I wanted him to use for um Neko's custom guy. We had the Paraka guy here from Donkey Kong, very clever. And were there any other villains I missed? Oh, we had the transforming uh, red band. Neko Billow. Mechagodzilla was a little further up, I think. Yep, Mechagodzilla, and I think that was the first one night. Yeah. <clears throat> so now, guys, we got to decide what we're voting for. Do you guys have a choice? Well, first, let's look at Exo's thing here. Oh, we got the inside here. The equal stored inside. Very yeah. cool. Do you guys have a vote? See, so I think, and the big sword is someone mm -hmm. do we need of uh, uh, Return of the King. I should have got that quicker. Okay. Pretty cool. I love the username you chose, by the way. What are you guys voting for? Any choice? You guys just sign up. Come on, you're going to give me a vote. <laughs> you can't decide? Chat, let me know if you guys have an opinion on who's to win tonight after that recap. Which villain mock I think was the best of the night? Uh. <laughs> Any opinions? Obviously, it was the Red Bandit. I really train. like train. Mm -hmm. the Red Bandit train. Is that your own, though? You can't vote for your own. Uh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. It's this guy called Captain Monkey Studio. Different person. Oh, that's not you. We know that's you. Anyway, though, I think. Uh, I'm leaning towards this. I think it's the most creative idea. No, I don't mean that's not me. But I, I, I can't make it a fact that Aaron's won so many times because if he earns it each time, he's got the win each time. But I'm also trying to decide between that he stole and the star one here. Mm -mm. The star one build is smaller, but it's very, very impressive nonetheless. Being all brick build a figure there, I want to say it's even more, even more impressive a design than that's um the, same as the movie theater. But the theater is a very creative idea in a sense, the black and white in there, and it isn't is not a, it's not a bad design either. So I'm leaning towards Arden, but I'm undecided. I'm gonna let you guys vote for us. What are your votes? I kind of would like to choose Sa mm. Sauron, but I'm not a person that's like a big fan of those uh, popular licenses. So uh, I guess I'm gonna vote for the black and white movie. The black and white Arden one. Yeah. What is? What are you voting for, um, TV? I'm going to vote for Sauron because I don't know again. For, for Sauron? So I got to break the tie. You said Sauron, right, TV? Yeah. So Exo almost voted mm -hmm. for Sauron. You did vote for Sauron. Yeah. Um, the chat seems to like, um, at least one person in the chat likes the Sauron. The figure's amazing. Uh, it's a hard choice. Hmm. I think my vote. You can't let Arden uh, win again. I, I can't let that be a factor because if he earns it, he earns yeah, it. Yeah, I'm gonna say, why well, the more creative idea? This is the more impressive design, despite even just yeah, for the size. This is very well done. It's creative. You made a brick built Sauron, so I'm gonna go with this for the winner of the night, I believe. And that's, I think that's enough votes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so congratulations to Awazap Troll. One, five, three, whatever it is. Mm -hmm.
you i think you're new to the server but so you probably don't know about the badges yet but we give all different like server badges for different things you can get like just some of them are like you, you post some artwork and get an art badge you, you post a dinner you can get um dinner badge but the most one of the most coveted one is the mock hour badge you win it once you get a bronze twice silver 30 times gold so you are going to get the bronze badge for mock hour and in addition because you will be our reigning champion until you lose a mock hour you get the master builder role, which puts you up high in the um, online listing. So you are the master builder until dethroned. And now Ardent is no longer the master builder. Each of my Lego meme. Oh. Yes, we're going to go to the memes close of the show. But very much congratulations. If you want more roles, by the way, you can choose them right over here. Your power is chosen by the uh, badge right there. But yeah, very close ones again. Some very cool. We didn't get as many entries as normal, even though the show went about the same length. But very cool on the West. I love seeing all the trains. That was unexpected. So to close of the show, I will warn you guys, though, stick around. But keep in mind, the memes are usually hilariously bad compared to the mocks. Like We have impressive mocks. We have terrible memes. This isn't a meme at all. That's not a meme, exactly. <laughs> This is the meme I put in when you limit yourself to alternate set builds to entire for your mock hour entries in eight months, but it's honest work. And you probably don't get it, but this is actually Exo's face mask he wears when he's on stream. Exo, you see your meme? Yes. You're not impressed? I mean, not everything needs to be very, uh, you know, very epic. Sometimes small portions are always uh, very helpful. Yeah, that, that's what the farmer was saying too. It ain't much, but it's honest work. That's what you just said. Indeed. Bricks Simplicity made the picture. Simplicity sometimes is good, but definitely not too much. Bricks made the picture. Thank I thought like that for it. So this we already saw right. mock in meme. This isn't a meme at all. It's a transformation. Okay then. Cinco, mas cinco, but hey, I didn't post it, I think. Okay. That was copied. Like music. A while ago. Oh no. The guy dies in terms of Lego studs. I used to have money. <laughs> awesome. When you're about to put the stickers in the Lego set, you only got one shot. Okay, so we had a few good memes tonight. But that pretty much closed everything out. We got a little earlier ending than user tonight. Thanks, everyone, for sticking around to the end. Uh, we'll choose the next mock hour theme shortly. I'll probably put a poll up in the server. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. I'll be back Friday, 6 p.m. with the next stream for whatever the mock-out things are being. If you are watching the stream replay and you want to join the show to get your build shared, look for a link in the video description or the video's homepage or Discord, and you want to post in the Feature My Mock section. But um, thanks, everyone, for watching, and until next time, play well.